Hello everyone, it's Kaylee, and today I have the Fair Trade. This is an interesting subscription box where they send you five American-made ingredients with five recipes. So it's supposed to help you cook at home, and I'm aspiring to cook at home more often. So let's see what's inside. It's really big, and it said it was five pounds. Oh my goodness, and this, um, it costs $65 a month, so I'm assuming there's a good amount of value. Look at how fancy this box is. I should have just shown this one. Look at this. There's chefs, that, so they, it's curated by chefs, so that you know it's been vetted. It's not just random items. And this has Caleb Shriver and Philip Pro. This is such a nice little box. Oh, and then it also says what items there are. But here is a sneak peek. They've got the recipe cards right here. Ooh, these are actually really nice material. You can't feel it, of course, but I don't know if I can communicate. But I, it's not a big deal. <gasps> grilled cheese. Mm. Although I don't like plums, but there's grilled cheese with plum chutney on it. So the items themselves. First, we have A and B. Oops, let's go down just a little bit. We have, <laughs> maybe not quite that much. We have A and B original pepper sauce. So of course, all of the items in these boxes are going to be full size and it doesn't want to focus. Come on, let's ignore that one. No? Okay, well, it's, you can read it. So it's A and B original pepper sauce. It's eight fluid ounces, all natural, no sugar added, small batch. Best by July 15th, 2019. So that's always good for food products. There's a, a long period of time before it expires. So that's the first item. The second item, we have the Virginia Chutney. Why does it want to focus today? Oh, there. Oh, it did for a moment. There. Virginia chutney, spicy chutney, a spicy plum chutney, wonderful with cheese. So again, I'm not personally big on plums, but this seems like a really cool, unique little dish. Or not the dish, but you know, condiment. That's what, that's what I was trying to say. So this one is also 10 ounces, so that's a good size. Third, ooh, this one I think I like. Third is a Reginald's uh, homemade light crunch all natural. It's really just not. Oh, perfect. Bur bur bourbon, <laughs> bourbon pecan nut butter for the love of peanut butter. And it's just peanut peanuts and brown sugar and pecans. Oh, that sounds good. And this one expires. May 31st, 2017. I didn't check the chutney. The chutney is good until uh, May 10th, 2018. So these all have really good shelf life. Number four. Ooh, this thing's got stuck in it. Do, 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 do. Um, oh. Oh. So this, let's see if we can get this. I just, apparently I just have to put it really close. Is this gonna? Yeah, Taste of Bordeaux. Gourmet seasoning handcrafted. It's 0.3 ounces, but this is obviously a very light product. So there's still good volume. And it's a seasoning good until July, or sorry, good until December 31st, 2017. I wonder if I can just smell it. Let's take a look at this. Okay, you can see Oh, is it letting stuff? <laughs> you can kind of, oh, I can smell it already. There's the seasoning. And then, let's see. It's bigger than it seems at first. Here's, here's the actual size. And then it says something about having a magnetic base. Is that something that you, is good? <laughs> I'm not sure. But it has a magnetic base. I guess so you can just stick it on something. But anyway, seasoning is good to have. Oh, and you know what it, oh, you can use this, oh, I see. So it's, it's so you can use this as a delivery. So you see it's got 
the opening there if you want to do all of it or you turn the lid and it's got the little holes if you want to just do a little bit and then you turn it more and now it's closed so that's really cool that the, that the container doubles as the pouring receptacle and the fifth and final item wowie it is wonder grain delicious all natural healthy and versatile uh pearled sorghum i've never heard of that before i've heard of quinoa <laughs> it reminds me of quinoa but it's sorghum and let's see it's an old world grain that has been a principal source of energy for millions it is neutral in flavor and can be paired with your favorite foods and spices and then there's of course cooking instructions on the back and this is 16 ounces or one pound for that and these are the five american made ingredients for this month so let's take a look at some of the products or sorry some of the recipes i should say oh here we go we have if you're interested this is a card let's see if i can make it focus it has more detailed descriptions of all the items and where they are from they are all american made and then i see four recipes but honestly um i'm probably not gonna use them all oh that's kind of interesting so and then on the back of this it tells you what you'll need does it focus there if you want all five if you want to make all five recipes and if the camera's shaking which it is that's because my cat come on she's scratching the post that i'm holding the camera on oh she's already came over here she's so funny um so that's good so they suggest kusa they have a recipe for that that uses oh it says it says it what it uses so it uses the sorghum which i'm probably pronouncing wrong and then the taste of bordeaux are in that and then there is a grilled skirt steak that requires eggplant and then the peanut butter sauce and there is pepper carrot chicken wings which it doesn't say what it let's see it it, it requires the pepper sauce and then there is the grilled cheese which you can see includes the plum chutney which i think for people who like plums that would be delicious even for me i'm like i don't actually like plums but that actually looks kind of good so i only see four recipes but I don't know. Maybe I missed one. But <laughs> I, it, again, I'm probably not going to make it. So, okay, my thoughts. Sorry, I did just want to double check if, if I dropped one, but I don't think I did. My thoughts. Okay. That'd be a serious. My thoughts are that these seem like really cool products. And it's nice that they have the recipes. But I think for me personally, they might be a bit involved where I'm kind of picky and I'm not that adventurous with my eating habits. So out of these things, the peanut butter sounds good to me. And I'm curious about this taste of Bordeaux. And then also this this seem, this grain, you know, grains are always nice to have. So I'll, I, I'll probably try this. Um, the pepper sauce, probably not. But of course, I, I think it's nice that they have it because a lot of people do like spicy things, but I don't. So I probably will give that to someone. And then the spicy plum chutney, also spicy, but also I'm not big on plums. Um, so, but again, so here's the thing. I, I still think it's really cool, you know? And so I have mixed feelings because I think it's a good box. My thought is that it's probably best as a gift, at least for me, for me to gift it to someone rather than to get it for myself because I don't think I'll get the most use out of it. I think 
if you're a person who is adventurous and you look at something like this grilled skirt steak card and you say, wow, I want to make that and try that, then you should consider getting this box because it will give you the, the special ingredient you need, which in this case is the peanut butter. You don't have to go trying to find it in your stores or whatever. The rest of it is pretty simple vegetable stock, skirt steaks, eggplants, things like that. So that's who I'd recommend it for. I would recommend it for people who like to explore new types of food. Like my kitty likes to explore everything, really. Oh, let's see. You want to get out of the way, baby? Here, I'm going to adjust this. Oop. Um, <laughs> you can see me, right? I'm just all blurry. I'm like in a video. I'm like, ooh, I'm the dream. Oh, now it's focusing on me. But if you're a person that likes to be adventurous with your food, then this will probably work well for you and to try new recipes. It's similar to a lot of the food delivery boxes, but I would say it is differentiated by the fact that rather than having a whole meal with, uh, what's the word? Oh, what's the word? Perishable. Yeah. Having, you know, some of the boxes will deliver you all the ingredients for a meal, but a lot of it's perishable. And then it, you know, it, it goes bad. And so what this is, what's unique about this is that it includes the non-perishable types of items so that you can have them for the long term and not worry that they're going bad. So I think that's pretty cool. Just um, not for me. I'll probably consider this as a gift for other people. And I will look up the value of these items to compare to the cost of the box. I'm curious of how they will compare. Um, at this point, I think the items cost might actually be a little below, but that's, that's just guessing at first, so don't take my word for it right now. Wait until I do the written review, which will be linked in the description of this video. And also, if you get the Fair Trade or any other subscription box, you should join my website Monthly Box Hub where you can post your own unboxings and reviews and get entries into giveaways. This month I am giving away a one month, specifically the September box for the Asian Mall Beauty Box. So you should definitely check that out. I'll also link it in the description of this video. Aside from that, let me know what you think about these, these different products. What do you think about these recipes? I showed them all. Probably I think the grilled cheese without the chutney would be the best and, and that's because I'm not adventurous enough for, for the chutney but I think for adventurous people it'd be very good. So let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye.